All right, in this video, I'm going to try to uh, connect the concepts of um, what it is to um, look at a ladder logic diagram and actually relate it back to hardware. Um, and the best way to do that is by talking about the actual relay itself. Now, a relay is just a device that has uh, a small solenoid inside of it. And when you pass current uh, through the solenoid, um, <clears throat> you're going to get uh, an electromagnetic field. So when you pass current around the solenoid here, then you get an electromagnetic field. And depending on the direction of the current, you're going to make this uh, solid core, usually iron um, or some uh, ferrous material you'll get it to go in one direction and when you release the power the spring will send it back the other direction okay so that's the basics of a uh, solenoid and <clears throat> and in this case when you have a solenoid connected to contacts you can use the solenoid to change the state of the contacts okay and in this case there is this this um, relay um, is shown energized okay which means that cur current has been passed to the coil and caused this to uh, go up and close these contacts okay so when and this is this is the this is the part of the relay that moves up and down okay so when we energize this coil it moves up and you can see there's tension in the spring uh, the spring wants to pull it back down, but because of the uh, electromagnetic force, it's causing it to the iron core to push up and hit these contacts. Okay, and when it hits these contacts, it allows for power or current to flow through the contacts and into whatever it is you're trying to energize or control. Now, this 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 um, power that goes through this line now can go to uh, maybe another relay uh, another solenoid to actuate um, uh, some other system or etc it can or it can just be read as a, a state or an input um, by a PLC it could say hey that this contact is closed uh, that means that we need to take this action okay now when this is de-energized then this will come back down Close the door, please. <clears throat> when this is de-energized, then it'll come back down, okay, and it'll come to this blue state, and this uh, iron coil will come down, and our spring will be uh, more compressed, and then current will come through um, and go through these contacts. Okay, so solenoids, I'm sorry, relays are classified as normally open, normally open contacts, and this is how we represent them on a um, relay diagram or in a ladder logic program. And I'm going to try to connect this ladder logic uh, relay uh, icon to the actual software that we're going to be using as an example it's a click PLC All right so this is a normally open contact and this is a normally closed contact on the bottom alright and it ha has this slash mark through it okay so what this actually says is that if this if this is a, a if we connect this to the boolean state this is normally open or normally zero okay so if it's normally zero then when this is closed then that gives us a true or a one and power goes through there and for this normally closed contact it basically says that the normal state is high okay but it's really like um, it's like a not high because you don't do anything on this side when this normally closed contact is closed. So if it's closed or high, it basically says do nothing. 
Um, but when it's zero, it's kind of like a not zero, uh, which means uh, one or do something. And that's pretty much how these uh, the ladder logic came to be is by taking these components of relay diagrams and putting them in software, making it easier for technicians and other people to program. Um, what we also need to talk about is the coil itself, and this is the the relay coil down here. Okay, and it's represented just by this circle. Okay, and you can think of it as if current is passing through here and it's wrapped around this coil and it goes out and there's either a relay or a solenoid in there, then it's going to cause this armature here, okay, to uh, go, you know, to its energized state. That's the basics of the actual hardware that led to ladder logic. All right. Um, we also can um, energize coils in ladder logic diagrams uh, that don't have any contacts, and those would be um, maybe used as just straight up solenoids. Okay, this is a, um, a hydraulic or a pneumatic uh, schematic for changing the state of a piston, and these are springs. That's a spring return cylinder. Uh, so here the it's normally uh, this switch is normally uh, closed when there's no air okay when you put air in here you move uh, this whole thing will move over to this location okay so when this moves over you got this symbol here which means you're going to plug the exhaust and then you have this arrow here which means you're gonna allow the air supply to um, go in and it will go into here all right into here and when this guy is moved over it'll go through here and then all the way up in here and then move this piston and the piston can go from here all the way over to here it's hard to see that color let's change that color all the way over to here and it'll change the state of this switch and you can read that you know in a PLC program or whatnot. Okay, this is a very similar example just with a hydraulic system and this shows that in this case uh, you have a hydraulic pump coming here and it's coming and it's going to move the piston one way this is the back direction and then if you change the state then you allow the supply for the hydraulic piston to come through here and then it'll push it this way and it can change the other switch. So this is uh, just an example of how the energized coils can be used in real hardware. In our next video we'll try to connect these concepts to the actual PLC programming uh, environment.